Hello and welcome to Lydia Hawk Designs. Today I want to go over a couple of notes about the butterfly body and how to attach it to the butterfly wings. Okay, so first tip I'd like to point out, if you have some trouble getting doll stuffing into the body of your butterfly, you can use a pencil with an eraser on the end. It has a grip that when you insert the doll stuffing just little bits at a time and twist it, it grips it really well and will get it in there. Otherwise, it could be a little difficult, especially if you're like me and you get really far into your body before you realize that you have not been putting doll stuffing in it. Threading your chenille stem through the top. So we're going to go right in above these color C stitches. And I'm going to use a chopstick because it's got this nice blunt end on it, but you could use a knitting needle. So if I use a chopstick and go through from one side to the other, it really gets through that doll stuffing. The trick is to create a hole that the chenille stem will just slide right through. If I figure out a better way to do this, I'll feature it. So yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to start at the end here and I think we're good with that. Let me just bend this. I'm going to take some wire cutters and just cut it right. Right at the spot where it's even. You can take little scissors and just trim doll stuffing from around the edge. So I'm happy with this. Now we're going to attach it to the body. I'm taking a piece of string that is approximately 38 inches. I'm going to thread it into my tapestry needle. I'm going to line up my wings. So basically we want the bottom of the butterfly to be just above the lower wings. I'm going to pinch each side of the wings together. These adjacent stitches, this is where we're going to attach them. So I'm going to pinch them together a little bit. I'm going to get them right where I want them against the butterfly body. And when I'm happy, I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to start with the top two and just right where I want it to go through, thread it through once. I'm going to leave half of this out and off to the side. So this side is going to be for attaching all four wings but then attaching this side, I'm going to leave this off to the side so that I can reinforce the attached wings and then attach the wings on this side. So focusing on the top wings right now, let's go through again. Just kind of have to get aggressive with it. Okay, so right now we've got Top wings attached. Now we're going to do the same thing. Just going to squeeze these going to go through the top. of these two and then feed right through 
to the other side. Just kind of holding everything in place as I go. You can always undo your work and start over if you're not happy. But I think this is going to work pretty good. I'm going to get so far down on this left side, I'm going to go back through towards the top. And then I'm going to use this left side to attach the left two wings. I'll get to about there. And then thread the rest through the back where I'm going to weave in the ends. Now let's take this long right side and do the same thing. And at this point, we're just going to reinforce our wings. All right, now let's go back through right at the top of the adjacent area between the top right wing and the bottom right wing and attach our wings. And then we feed this through the back. And then we can clean up our butterfly. Maybe shorten this antenna just a touch. We'll weave in our ends in the back, but bottom line, we've got a nice finished crochet butterfly with body. This is an older design, so that's why this right wings a little shorter than this one, but for our purposes, this is perfect.